Hello and welcome to February 12th. Alpha's XL American Express is 75%. There it is, 75% for American Express. Now, we need to have some clarification here. This is a dipper low, but this close was not above the 128.25. This close was two pennies short. This is the one that was 128.23. This one made it at 128.35. So this was 30, 31 cents, 0 0.31 cents. This was at 0.23 cents. And you can see it here on the little, on the dialog box, the data box. I got the high lows showing. So that's now that we closed above. Now that any dipper condition here will then qualify for our new low. Even if it comes way down here and comes back up again, that will become the new low to get away to move the, the exit up to start initiating rule number two, protect profit. Okay, with that said, uh, also too, American Express is 25% short of 100 ROI. When it hits that 100 ROI, we are going to last bar low and take that money off the table to shave down the O on American Express here for the alphas. Okay, that takes us now to Energy, XLE. And here at XLE, it's waiting for its, it, you know, well, here's the condition, but it's, the close has got to be above that third ratio. So this is not going to happen just yet. And we are doing a nice pretty penny on it. We got 279 against the 609. So it's uh, working in the right direction. Uh, coming now to Berkshire Hathaway, Berkshire Hathaway. And now it did receive, look at this. It, this is a, we, we have now a dipper, low dipper condition accepted. We have that, we have the close above the, um, let that learn a little more straighter. So now we got the low here, but we don't have the higher low on the right. So with this long candle anticipation is we should have a small or maybe even a bigger jump here on the right side, giving us a new low, giving us a higher low. And then therefore this will become the new exit. So the red line will move up to here and turn green for our exit. All right, that takes us on to Bank of America. And Bank of America is still struggling to get to even its third ratio. So that's what's that. Now, this is, again, this is the advantage of the ratio exit. That is, this exit, once you get off your initial exit date for accounts under 25,000 or accounts over 25,000, you go straight off the bat with the one, well, one loss ratio. But this exit will stay down here, which is right there, until such time that it crosses above the 30-day, the 30-day moving average, above the third ratio, and can give us a uh, dipper low. Here is a dipper low condition, but it doesn't qualify because it's under the third ratio. We must get to the third ratio so we can enhance our opportunities for a three to one return. We saw recently PGR took us out and gold. So gold and PGR have two ratio losses already, one each. When they come back into play again, we'll be looking for that three to one again. And the three to one hits, that means that three to one will pay back three minus the one from the previous gives us a two ratio win. And then, of course, wherever the money falls, it will be what it is. Okay, Bank of America, that takes us to Nike. Now, I'm Nike, if I'm not mistaken, I think Nike is, oh, yes, Nike is in its, got its loss ratio. See, the close is above the third ratio. Here came the dipper, the qualified dipper. Look at the, uh, look at the little squares that I drew. I, I put those little squares in days ago. You can go to my past videos and locate it. There's right in, right in there when I did it. Now we have a drop down, but our exit is right here. This is our exit, 140.80. It comes on 140.80. It's going to take us out of the trade and produce what little profit there is and shave off 
1821 and get ready to do it all over again. Remember the five rules. One, protect capital. Two, take profit. Three, no, one, protect capital. Two, protect profit. Three, take profit. Four, exits do not retreat. Most imperative. Once you move the exits in the right direction, do not retreat. And then number five, rinse and repeat. Okay, coming now to CVS, we got into a four, at 4%. Coming here at CVS, there it is, at four. And again, this we are not anywhere near our third ratio. We're just barely getting out of the second. But look at the nice curve on the 30-day moving average, which is a nice trend indicator. The stochastics in RSI and MACD are all in agreement. Now, also note that I now I don't I read the news. Don't don't misunderstand. I I'm an avid reader. Wall Street Journal, the IBD, the LA Times, on the net, uh, Yahoo Finance. I'm always into all those articles. But here's the point: I don't trade off them. Once you trade off them, it's called event traders. What I do trade off them is having some assurity about what's happening, what is causing price to move. Here at CBS. The anticipation is to use CVS and um, uh, Rite Aid as distribution centers to get more vaccine out to the public. That's the objective. And then CVS and then Wal Wal Rite Aid will both pick up their um, opportunity in making some money at this on, on the vaccine distribution. My anticipation is that if price gets up here to the $85 level, look for profit takers, the portfolio managers. Remember, the portfolio managers have two major obligations. One, produce cash at the end of the month. Even if in a down market, they will have to liquidate their winners to produce cash, hold on to their losers until they get turnaround. Now, we're going to say, wait a minute, hold on to the losers. Well, they hold on to the losers because they buy equity. They actually buy the stock, and they buy quality stock with a lot of fundamentals. Sometimes they'll make a mistake and get into something wrong. But the bottom line is that that's how they do. Now, in an up market, selling off the winners is a lot easier because now you've got major profit with other profit coming up from behind. Look, look at our own, our own thing. American Express is a 75, but look who's in the running coming up behind it. These all have potential to hit that 75% mark. I mean, XLE is only off 10%. So my situation, this, this marker right here is March 1st. That's our uh, anticipation right there is March 1st. I'm anticipating that we hit $85. The profit takers will be taking that money off the table. If not, but the thing we'll look forward to it. Okay, uh, that is a conclusion. There's nothing there. And now, let's go back to PGR, which is at the beginning of the slide. And what happened here is this. It's going to happen. PGR, the ask bid price is too wide. We're waiting for the trade to happen. We're waiting for the trade to happen right here. But here's the situation. And the situation is this. The AB is too wide. When the AB is too wide, you do not want it. If it's more than 10%, if it's 10.1%, Reject it. 10% is your max. Actually, you should 9.9% is accepted. 10% no. Because the problem is that if this if this option gets initiated at 460, I'm already 60 cents behind the hole. So what's gonna happen is bingo, orders canceled. And that money is now back on the coffers. And I'm gonna be hunting for new opportunities for Monday. Oh, we're out of time again, man. I am so sorry. This has been really long these past couple of days, but uh, we'll work on it. And I thank you very much for checking it out and coming by. Bye-bye.